four o'clock in the morning. I'm finally happy with the way things are. Mum and Dad are coming to stay tonight <laughs> because it's already morning. Um, they're visiting friends and uh, in Melbourne. And I said, oh, you might as well stay the night so you don't have to drive home. So they're staying the night, going out for dinner tonight because I still haven't seen Dad for Father's Day. Um, so, yeah. So in the meantime, I've been doing the lounge room, as you know. So, yeah, this is how much how far I've got. Looks really boring on the camera but in real life it looks quite pretty so anyway uh yeah as you know just a short recap beep is teething um so yeah that's why it's four o'clock and so she and i've been taking in turns of getting up because she just can't settle and we actually had a look at her gum and it's just this red mass under any the thing so yeah um but not much else so it'd be interesting today we're actually going out for dinner tonight to universal uh tanner's really excited because every time we go there he has the this palm and the parmesan they make just falls off the plate it's so huge so he's really excited and dad loves parmesan as well so we've been raving about this damn palm that you know falls off the plate so i hope that lives up to his reputation so yeah so busy day today I'll probably get three hours sleep in, so, and then I've got to entertain all day, and mum's a late night, late nighter, so yeah, so hopefully I don't nod off, yeah, at dinner, so yeah. One more thing before I go to sleep, <gasps> baby's now got three nail polishes, yay! Just to give you an indication of how small they are, that's a hairpin. That's just a small lady's hairpin, so look how tiny the little bottles are. Yeah, so now she's got lilac, pink, and pale pink. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so we're going to put them in a little savior box so that, yeah, when she's like two or three, she can try them out. I'm just so fucking pissed off right now, you have no idea. I've just come out to the front porch because when I was shopping the other day, I found these, um, distress metal numbers for the house so I came out here to put them on the front of the house and I was standing right here and I noticed that all my lanterns that usually hang here the three vintage ones are missing and so is Mo's flamingo that's going to be over there against the fence that he gave me now I'm okay someone stole them last night obviously right but I was up to 4.30, quarter to 5 in the morning with the front blind open with all the lights on so that means that it didn't matter because they crept up onto the front porch at the front door and quietly took them and they rattle and bang and clang and it had to take some bloody force to get that flamingo out of the ground I'm telling you I'm just so pissed off one of the lanterns I've had for like 25 years just pissed off okay I've just noticed something else they took a cast metal frog that my mum gave me about 15 years ago had a crown on it it was like one of those garden frogs a designer one that um, you know kiss a frog and you find your prince it was right there and they took that too hi I've got absolutely no makeup on, right? So I don't feel that, ooh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's a really warm day outside. Really sunny, no wind whatsoever. So I decided to wear a summer dress. Now, I haven't unpacked many of my summer or spring clothes. So I tried on something that I never in a million years thought would fit me because it hasn't fit me in four years. And it fit. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to wear it. No makeup hair nothing special summer dress and havanas so i don't have that much breast out can someone please tell me why every single woman in coles just gave me the filthiest look i've ever copped in my life one lady actually went as she walked past me as if i'm the filthiest whore she's ever seen i have massive breasts I have the tiniest bit of cleavage that you can physically see. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with what I'm wearing? Seriously, the dress is to my knees. This is why the word slut was invented and the word whore was invented. Not 
from men judging women or throwing it around or assuming or whatever. It was asshole women judging women that got that made the word whore and slut just such a, a thrown around word. It wasn't actually women being whores, it was women judging women from jealousy, spite, whatever. Yeah, just had a vent. What a pair we are today. Seriously. They took my shit. Daily dance with Anastasia while she's cooking. Oh man, I've got a stitch. Not really. Um, yeah, Nana and Granddad are coming over um, to stay the night. So we're taking them out for dinner on Ligon Street. Because um, they don't live in Melbourne, we like to take them out while they're here at least once. So that, um, yeah, they're not just locked in our house the whole time that they're here. Um, and Nana's favourite dessert is lemon meringue. So I'm making a lemon meringue. I've done the pastry and the filling, so now that's in the oven for 40 minutes. And then when we get home tonight, I'll beat the meringue. Beat up that meringue! And um, then, yeah, cook it for the last, what, 15, 20 minutes odd. And... And then we can have dessert. Shit, I forgot to get like a scoop of ice cream or cream or something. I don't know what we're gonna do. But yeah. It's got, you're going to have a segment of dancing with me while I'm cooking, whenever I cook from now on. So if you want to unsub because you don't like my dancing, then I don't like you. <laughs> but, ooh, that your ties do it. Welcome back to the age of jive. Yeah, okay, I gotta go check the pie. And then you spend a lot of money. Guys, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but we're impressed at the moment, and everybody around here is either a dong or they're hung. <laughs> My dong is hung. I think they're trying to make up. So. Look, where's another one? Look, there's another dong. You got a dong. On your forehead. Yeah, no. yeah they're trying to make up for the urine small thing. Oh, wow. Now she's being That's racist. racist. So racist, yeah. We're out buying food at the moment for dinner because grandparents stay in tonight. Uh, we were going to go out for dinner, but the plans changed, so we decided to get takeout. So a Asian Anus said to go to this Chinese. Asian restaurant that I've never been to before, so I better be good. And anyway, here, here's my dinner. <laughs> Holy hell. We bought out the whole place, I swear to God. Anus, do you think we've got a bit much? Here, you take no. that. Oh my God. I think we've got a bit much. I think we've got a bit much. Bob, 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 bob. Beep, beep. Bob, 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 bob. Hi. There it is. Bob, 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 bob. Bob, 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 bob. All right, so dinner's done, and Ana decides to make a dessert. Banana, I've already told him. Yeah, so it's, a, it's the, her favorite thing to make. No, but it's Nana's favorite thing to eat. Do you love to make them? No, I don't like making the shit. The patient Come on, you gotta, you like, you like to make them. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yes, it is. Lemon meringue pie. That bit annoys me. That bit and that bit and that bit annoys me. It's okay. Because they're higher. No, it is. Oh, it's about five minutes too much. That's it. Yeah, I know. Because the stupid recipe said to leave it for 20 minutes. I should have left it for 15. Looks pretty good, though. Oh, I just, ah. Oh. Ah, 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 I just put my... You just ah, came, didn't you? Just poke a hole in it. With your penis. Mm -mm -mm. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. With your mental penis. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. So, oh. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Touch no, it. Touch no, it. Don't, don't touch, touch it. it. Don't touch it. Very good. Good job.